Oh, I might as well be live at this point, right? Why not? <laughs> I hit the go live button. <sighs> Here we go. All right. So, I think I'm live now, right? There I am. Why oh, I'm swirling? Am I swirling for you guys? I'm swirling on my screen. I don't know. Too much going on over here. What's going on, everybody? Squirrel Squad, good to see you guys. I figured tonight I'd come live. It is late night in America, 11.06 p.m. All my folks in the U.K., 90% of my viewership, it's 4 a.m. over there, and you're all in bed. But importantly, um, I have stuff to unbox from uh, New Zealand, uh, well, tasting from New Zealand, and a box from Australia. And I got a box from Amazon. I think it came from the U.K. So let's go through all this, right? Why not? I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, make sure you hit the like button. I better hit the like button myself, right? So we got six people in here. We're just going to do an unboxing. I got some toast here. I do have some Marmite. This is New Zealand Marmite. I have not tried this yet. I did open it up in the unboxing. Smelt it. Ooh, it smells so beefy and good. I can't wait for that one. And then I'm pretty sure inside of the big box from Australia that there is some Vegemite. So... Let's get the show on the road. A little tea. Because I'm addicted to this Yorkshire tea. is amazing. It's so rich. So good. Oh, I'm going to try some LMP soda as well from New Zealand. So Luke sent me the LMP soda and the Marmite. And um, Big Oz sent me this big box from Australia. So, But here, I want to get this Amazon box first. I, I cut into this and I kind of started to look and I was like, wait a minute. I didn't order anything from Amazon. And I... Definitely didn't order this item. I don't know what's on it. I just know what it is. I know it's a mug, but I did not take it out and look at it. So let's have a look together. This is, yeah. I don't know what it's from. Honestly, I honestly don't know. Let's have a look. This is, it's pretty badass. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. All right. Let's see. So. Let me, uh, so this says, uh, it says Glasgow's green and white Mon the hoops from Matthew Cooper. So, um, so this is, um, Scottish football club, the Celtic football club, 1888. Look at this. This is such an amazing thing. Look at this mug. Look at this. That's just a packing slip. Okay, I'm gonna show those. No, no, this is what an awesome. This is the amazing, amazing gift. Check this out. Morning, James. Good to see you up early, man. I'm glad you're here for this. So check out this mug. I want to start using this mug, but I, I, it's probably more of a collector's thing. But I will make this my everyday live streaming, drinking at home tea mug for sure. But it's beautiful, so I don't want to fucking mess it up. Uh, but that's gorgeous. Check that out. I'm Matthew Cooper, man. You are a rock star. That is sick. I love it. I absolutely love this. <laughs> Look at this thing, guys. Do you see this? What a freaking mug. It's huge, too. I love big mugs. Oh, man. You guys are too good to me. I mean that. You're too good to me, and I love it. Thank you. That's awesome. What a beautiful, beautiful mug. I'm trying to keep track over here make sure I don't miss anybody. Lissy Ann, B. Wizzle, James. How are we doing, Brad from Drunk Kings and Darwin, my good friend? It's good to see you, buddy. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna butter up some uh, Marmite real quick here. Uh, not butter up, I'm gonna Marmite one piece of toast because um, I might as well munch on that while I unbox this this Australian box because then I'm gonna eat some Vegemite. So, but uh, yeah, uh, I tried the uh, I tried the the Vegemite from. Uh, don't mind my. Just spreading my butter a little better. Uh, I tried Vegemite from um, from the UK. Uh, History Dave sent me some over, which was absolutely mega. That was great. And then um, this here, like I said, came from Luke. This is New Zealand Marmite. So this is uh, oh, Sanitarium. Interesting name. Uh, the health food company, Marmite. Go ahead, dig in. So they're like, this is, I said this when I did the unboxing. This is like, the jar they expect you to send to the dumb American friends of yours because it says, right now, go ahead, dig in. Like, yeah, go ahead, get a big spoonful of that stuff, right? But uh, it is made in New Zealand for local and uh, from local and important ingredients. So let's give this sucker a whirl. 
put a lot of butter. I it's it's done up pretty good. I got a, it's a decent it's a decent amount of butter on there. Um, I've marmited already with the other marmite. So oh, this is stuff's different. All right, so immediately big difference. Okay, with the marmite that I got from the UK, when I pull it out of the jar, it's like stringy. It's like really like gooey. This is more like chocolate. Look at that. Oh man, like I said, beefy. It's got this beefy. This is darker. This is like tar. I mean, not because it's spreading it really very spreading much easier than the other marmite. Uh, tar and color, not in consistency, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's man. Look at this. Cut this sucker in half. Mm, look at that, huh? That looks delish. Oh, yeah. That's good. Mm, mm, mm. Marmite from the jar? <laughs> nah. Yeah, it came out of the jar into the toast. I've never tried straight marmite. I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> What's up, heck? <laughs> That's his rest in peace. Mmm. Man. It's chewy. You definitely get a lot more of the, um, um, what do you call it? Uh, the yeast flavor that way. But I'll be left on hand. So, Ooh, there we go. That's good. I like this one. Very nice. All right, so. Lisa, what's up? Oh, it's sitting in your mouth. It's a flavor of soups in your taste buds, yeah. I was a little bit. I chewed it. It's all right. It's not bad. It's going good, Hick. How you doing, brother? I got 16 people in here. I appreciate all you folks showing up. I truly, truly do. I no matter how many subscribers you have when you go when you go live at this time, you're just happy if one person shows up. I think so. Awesome New Zealand Marmite. I like this one a lot. It's different. So I kind of like. The other mom, that's really good too, but they're just two totally different, two different animals. So, but uh, it's good. Now I'm excited. Good morning, free wheel. How are you doing? I'm sorry to talk my mouthful, guys. Uh, let me eat guys and have some tiny Z panel the other night. Oh, yeah, cool. Excellent. Good to have you, three. Very good to have you. Um, I went back and hung out in Tanya's. Well, hung out in the chat for a little while on Tanya's panel like the next day. And I realized there was still the same stream from the night before. <laughs> She'd been streaming for like 60 hours. I was like, wow, I could never do that. Um, wow, Insomnia does rule. Terry Love, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. I'm so glad you guys in the UK are here. I didn't think anybody was going to show up because I know it's 4 a.m. over there. I did it this time because it's an Aussie box in New Zealand. And with the exception of the Amazon item, which I don't know for anybody who just came in. Matthew Cooper sent me this badass mug. Look at this thing. This freaking ring light. Hold on. Look at this thing. But you know what? I don't even need this ring light, do I? No. This will turn off. Look at that badass thing, huh? That's so awesome. Look at it. Oh. That's great. If I'm freezing up on you guys, let me know. I, my screen's freezing up, but I think it's because I got everything running through the computer, so it's tough. But, uh... Yeah, late, crazy long streams. Ezra, what's going on? What the fuck are you doing, man? You got up this early? Jeez, you guys are great. Ezra, it's good to see you, man. Well, Ezra, he's awesome. Good dude. You guys are all amazing folks. You know, I want to say something real quick. And I'm just going to say this real fast on this stream, and that's it. I had a couple people reach out to me, um, and they were like, hey, are you going to do some kind of a tribute video? Or are you going to do, you know, just like a short video saying something or whatever? about the passing of Prince Philip. And I just want to say my condolences to everyone in the country, uh, whether you're a royalist or not, I, I feel for all of you. More than 80% of England has never known anyone different than the queen and her husband. So it's going to be impactful in some way to everyone, I believe. But I'm definitely not going to be making a video for views and clicks uh, off of the death of the queen's husband. So that's not me. I'm not that guy. I put up a community post about it. I truly feel bad for my viewers. I don't know enough about the guy. Um, I know a lot more about the queen, 
when the queen passes, uh, that'll impact me a little bit. Uh, but still, it won't be, you know, it, it's it, it'll impact me because I've I'm 46 years old and it's all I've ever known too. You know, even though I don't live in that country, that's all I've ever known is that she is the ruler of you know. So, uh, my buddy, my buddy Ken, the redneck is here, folks. Oh man, what's up, Captain Jerry? Ken, the redneck. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that, Ken. Awesome. Appreciate the super chat. Um, all you guys that are here, if you see Twisted Art, uh, uh, Twisted Art Lady, that's Sam. She did a live stream last in her first live stream ever. She does some great pouring art. Uh, all these different people here. You know, feel free to get to know each other. Some great channels in here. The Redneck Connection and Jimmy C and Friends, those two channels, and, and the Roundtable, those three channels, were like the first three channels I started going live and hanging out on on panel. Um, I started going on a talk show called The Video Call-In Show, which is currently not available, but I think it's coming back. And then, but when I started like get, immersing myself in the communities on, on uh, YouTube and getting to know people, the Redneck Connection, the Roundtable, Jimmy C and Friends were probably the first three that I was really on on a regular basis and became like a regular and started to get to know people and started spreading my YouTube wings. Mm. All right, here we go. Here's some toast. Oh, good. And moments. Awesome. All right, so this is a big box. I cut it open already. Let me show you guys the size of this box. Oh my God. Look at this. It's a huge box from Australia. I cut open the top flap, so I can flap it open like this. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I'm very excited right now. Ian, what's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, let's see. There's some notes here. If you don't know, if you ever send me something, this is my favorite part. Right here. My favorite part is the court, the human correspondence. It's such a weird world we live in, um, where nobody ever, uh, um, you know, everything is so everything's text, it's so in in impersonal, you know. Uh, all right, I'm gonna read this. I hope, I hope Big Oz doesn't mind. It says, um, "Hey Tony, how's things, mate? Firstly, I apologize for my piss poor writing." <laughs> Um, I have, trust me, I look like I write with a crayon between my toes. Um, Lisa, Moose Gal, what's going on, Lisa? I love you, baby. Thank you so much. Another super chat. I appreciate that. The Underbaker, if you've got a box from Australia, I hope you've got some Tim Tams. We'll have to find out if I got some damn Tim Tams in there. The only thing I know that's in here that he told me was in here, he said he was sending some Vegemite. So I have a piece of toast right here waiting. So as soon as I get the Vegemite out of that box, I'm going to throw some Vegemite on the bread. I'm going to try that, too. I just tried. Right now, I'm eating um, some. This is uh, New Zealand Marmite for anybody who's just got here. So, good. Hmm. Then I go fill my face while I'm on live. That's why I smell. All right. So. Please find and close my little care package from Australia. With two chocolate bars from the UK too, the fries, chocolate cream, and peppermint cream are from the UK. I love them. I noticed we hadn't been sent them before, so I added them. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. I should be have for all the squirrels to get something if you so choose. A lot of Aussie stuff to enjoy. <clears throat> I'll make a suggestion when it comes to eating the <laughs> when it comes to eating the Tim Tams. <laughs> so there's some Tim Tams in here. <laughs> Matt, gee, I'm trying to keep watching this chat. Matt, thank you so much, man. Thank you so, so much. Man, I, you guys, 10 pounds, man. I appreciate that a ton. I do. It's very, 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 very generous of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. It's so nice. Burzum 2, greetings from Scotland. What's going on, man? Greetings from Massachusetts, USA. This is crazy. I love this. I love that we get to go and hang out. 30 people here. If you feel like hitting the thumbs up, I appreciate it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, second page says, I will make a uh, suggestion with Tim Tams. Uh, Got to try one as is, but then you have to have a Tim Tam slam. What's that? I hear you ask. Well, you have to get yourself a tea or coffee. I have a tea. Then bite off opposite corners of the biscuit and use it as a straw. And he drew a little diagram of the biscuit with the corners. 
better with hot tea, coffee, and once it comes through, whack it all in your mouth and taste the explosion. Wow, I can't wait. This is going to be great. I put in some all sorts and capital letters. That's what I was smiling about when I opened the box. That right on top. Uh, in, but no idea if they're any good. Not something I buy, really. Hope you enjoy, mate. Looking forward to the reaction if you want to do one. Of course, I'm going to do one. I'm reacting to the box open. But I, will, I will do a reaction to all this food, man. Um, all of it. I'm going to try some of it right now, obviously. Uh, and that's just a little note to me. Awesome. And then back here on the back, he writes, P.S. The Vegemite has the same rules as Marmite, butter, toast, and a light spread. The good stuff. Excellent. Best part of the box right here. I'm, I'm collecting all these notes and cards and things I get from folks. I'm going to build it on a nice wall behind me when I finally get some stuff set up. So, uh, Kathy Bates, what's going on, Miss Kathy? Bates Kathy, as I call you. Bates Kathy. It's appropriate, right? All right. Here we go. Start getting in this. I got here some Arnott's Iced Bobo. These suckers, huh? Oh, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to try to get everything in the camera now. Those look absolutely delish. What are these here? Treasure biscuit favorite with pink fondant, a strip of jam and raspberry topping, and sprinkled with coconut. Yeah, I'm all in on that. Yep. Wow. Pink fondant, raspberry, and coconut. Oh, yeah. We got some Twisties cheese flavored snacks. I'm all about some cheese crunchy Twisties. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, boy. I can't wait. This is going to be so amazing. My kids are so excited. This box got here like six days ago. Five days. I think I got it Monday, I think. But I just, I didn't want to, I didn't want to rush it, you know? So, uh, uh Matt, thanks, man. <laughs> That's as always these ad blocks. I have to make up. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, Gana, how you doing? Gana made my new logo, which um i'm gonna i've got it up on twitter i got it up on um up on uh instagram i'm really bad about this i'm gonna get it all switched over everywhere um and then uh um i've, I've got merch i'm working on merch right now so that'll be cool and i'm gonna set up a spreadshirt shop in the uk so that hopefully it won't murder anybody on shipping if anybody decides they want to buy something so i have here uh wagon wheels original eight minis Chalk coated marshmallow with Jeff with jam. Are you serious? Oh man. You know, someone commented today. These look awesome, by the way. Someone commented today and they said, You said you don't like licorice, but you love licorice all sorts. It's my favorite thing, by the way. Licorice all sorts, my favorite thing. Lissy Ann, what the frig are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, thank you. I I all you had to say was you're awesome. You didn't have to throw me fifty bucks with it. Holy shit. Uh thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh man, I just I was just on during before I started this, I was on a stream with Lissy Ann and with um uh Bee Wizzles Aquatics. It was Bee Wizzle stream and she was co-hosting with them. And I won uh some Pokemon cards and a bunch of other cool stuff. You'll see I'll do a video for it, but I just won a prize over there. But I've won a lot lately, I'll tell you. It's crazy. Um so excited about that. And uh they're both here tonight hanging out. So eat the wagon wheel, hit Eat their wagon wheel. What the fuck are these color money things? I see them on my channel. Oh, no. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see. And thank you. Ah, oh, you're, you're beautiful. You're amazing. <sighs> All right. Muscal, what's going on? If I didn't say hi, I think I did. Anybody else? If I'm missing you, Chubby Phil, what's going on? Don't retract messages. It's right. I don't get offended by nothing. So, um, but yeah, somebody said, oh, you, you don't really like marshmallow. You don't really like licorice, but you loved it. It's not that I don't, I like marshmallow. We have this stuff here called fluff. It comes in a jar and you spread it on a sandwich or peanut butter. It's great. But I don't like our marshmallows. They're like hard. They, they're not hard. They're just stiff. They're, they're unappealing. It's just a, it's just a, a, a thick gooey block of sugar. They're good if you melt them kind of and press them with chocolate between graham crackers and make a s'more. But other than that, I mean, they're kind of, but chocolate from the UK, I mean, uh, marshmallow from the UK is like, it's like just gooey, beautiful love. It's love. That's It's white love. Mm, so good. All right. Uh, Oh, this is a heavy, heavy bar. Holy smokes. This is a Cadbury dairy milk snack. Look at this sucker. Now, I knew about this because um, um, Big Oz sent me an email and said, hey, 
in the Car the Cadbury Milk Bar, there's a bunch of different flavors in there. Uh, I don't know if they're listed here or not, but there's like the blocks are all different flavors, and he wanted to warn me because one <laughs> because one of them is Turkish Delight. <laughs> And the strawberry, you can see on here, strawberry, orange, vanilla, and one of them is Turkish Delight. That's fine. I, I, it'll be fun to go through this and taste all these, taste all the different flavors and the different blocks. There's a lot. This thing's heavy as heck. It's uh, God, it's got to be an eight ounce bar, um, which is what we measure everything in. It is. I can't find it. God, I'm horrible at this. Uh, it's big. It's, it's it's big bar. It's big. It's heavy. It's thick. Look how thick that is. You can tell right by looking at it. It's a big bar, right? So there's that. That's awesome. I already talked about them. I love licorice all sorts. I, I just, am I freezing on you guys? Let me know if I'm freezing. I'm freezing over here. But Chubby Phil, what's up? There you go. Roy C. Hi from London. Hello from America. Massachusetts. Squirrel got to run at basketball. Drone Kings and Darwin Brad. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm glad you stopped by, man. Rest in peace, Prince Philip. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, I'm not going to do a video on it. Some people had asked me. I think that as an American uh, who reacts to a lot of things um, in the UK and in England, um, I don't. I, saw, I don't know. I saw a lot of videos today from a lot of different people about Prince Philip passing. I, I put one on the community page. It was from a friend of mine in the UK. You should put together a nice little quick you know, picture montage. I thought that was nice, but uh, I'm just not. I find it if I, I, me personally, anybody can do what they want. I just don't feel like I, I don't need the views off of his passing. So no, I won't be making a video. But uh, but I definitely feel the pain of all you folks, man. And I and I don't even understand what it's like for you guys because again, like I said, are you've known nothing different. About eighty percent of your country knows nothing different than Prince Philip and uh, the Queen. So it's it's crazy. So. Uh, who else is here? I don't want to miss anybody. The Underbaker's still here. Kathy Bates, let's see. And Scully, what's up, Scully? How you doing, man? So these are, oh, yeah, this is the good mix, I think. It looks like it anyway. It's got, oh, it's got reds in here. And blacks and the sandwiches. Oh, man. I'll put these over here because I'm probably going to open these and try these on stream because that'll give me a good reason that I can eat them later tonight, wherever I end up, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up parking in somebody else's live stream tonight and acting like an ass. I always do. All right, let's keep going. I don't want to keep you guys all night here. Snakes Alive. These are by Alan's. A little bit of fun since 1891. These Snakes Alive. I had some snakes. <clears throat> so, like, over here we have gummy worms. It's pretty much the same thing as far as, you know, the shape and everything. But uh, I had these all-natural ones from New Zealand that Luke sent me. They were amazing. Absolutely. I already did the video on them. The video will be coming. Absolutely amazing. These, I'm sure, will be the same. I love that all the stuff that comes from over in in the UK and from Australia and everything is all no no artificial colors, no artificial crap in them. Um, those ones are so flavorful and they weren't like hard and chewy like a lot of the ones over here get. So it's, uh, you know, it's really good. But there we go. Some snakes alive. The little squirrels loved that I got some of those. Oh, what is this? All right. I don't know. What is this? The original flavors you love. Shapes. Original. I don't know which original one it is. This is, oh, this is Savory. Okay. This is the originals. Okay. Look at this. Shapes. Original. Oven baked, not fried. These are, uh, these are crisps or? I'm lost. Anyway, there's all, they, they come in pizza, savory. Uh, chicken crimpy and barbecue. These are the savory ones. And uh, these are going to be good. Those look delicious. So, shapes. Savory. Savory. What a cool flavor savory is. It's like umami, I think, you know? <laughs> I love the names of some of this stuff. Oh. I saw a commercial for these. And I was like, oh, I want to try those sometime. And here they are. Nobbies. Nibble Nobby's Nuts. Nobby's Salt and Vinegar Peanuts. Why don't we have this good shit in America, folks? What's going on, huh? We ain't got this over here. Ooh, shapes love them. We have bacon cheese sweet ones. Mmm. Yeah. Diabetes left alone. Get her, knock it off. Uh, <laughs> Troy Hurst, what's going on? Get don't be a killjoy, right? Knock it off. Damn. 
What is that? Ooh. This is uh more twisties, but these are twisties. Chicken. See? See how my right? So like all my American friends in the chat, you know we don't get this good stuff over here, right? Twisties chicken. Wow, that is crazy. 38 people in the house. What's going on, everybody? Say hello. Nobby's nuts are awesome. I used to live in the U.S. Snacks are not good. It's true. So the snacks kind of suck over here. Um, here it is, folks. I found it. It's the Vegemite. This is so deceiving. It looks like chocolate, doesn't it? Oh, look at that. It looks like chocolate. Huh. It has a lighter smell. Let me slap this on. Oh, and it even cuts out like chocolate, you know, kind of like the, uh, kind of like the, the New Zealand, um, um, what am I did? Vegemite for years. Because, you know, I'm, I'm going to give you the cheesy, the cheesy ass American reference. It's okay. I'm allowed to. Because it's, it's the truth. The only way I've ever known about Vegemite as a cheesy ass American is through the, the, um, the, is it Minute, not Minute Work, uh, Hall and Oats, whoever it was. They did that, uh, I Come From a Land Down Under song. Yeah, the fucking ridiculous ass song. And, uh, well, I gotta spray my cat if you don't shut up. I got a cat, he's being a, being a dick because the other cat's upstairs and they close the door. So, my dreams. Uh, anyway, uh, but in that song, He's like, you know, she just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. There you go, Vegemite. I've always wanted to try it ever since I I uh, heard that song. So here we go. Here's some Vegemite, folks. Let's do it. Ah! That was different. I told my cat to shut up. He usually does. Um, I don't know what's wrong being weird. This is very light. Hmm. This is really light. I give it about the same spread. Definitely a different flavor. Um, hmm. The marmite, I think, is more um, a little more salty, maybe, and more of that like beefy. Even though they're all just vegetable, I mean, it's all these are all vegetarian friendly, I believe. The marmites and the vegemites, but the marmite almost has like a, a real beefy flavor to it. It's amazing. Um, and uh, a little more salty. This is more earthy. Um, it's, it's, I mean, it's good. I like it, but it's very earthy. It's very, um, I'm trying to think almost like weedy and barley. And I think a lot of it has to do with it being, um, uh, being yeasty, but, um, lots of vitamins in here. It also has, fl uh, folate, which helps fight fatigue. That's good. If you're up late. And you're editing videos, you know, uh, then, uh, you know, you can eat some of this and help fight fatigue. Made in Australia from 95% uh, Australian ingredients. So. Awesome. Oh, let's see. Stacy Morgan, what's going on? Tim Smith in the UK, what's going on? Thank you, man. I appreciate that you like my videos. I super, honestly, honestly do. Uh, and I thank you for that. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anybody here. Anomaly Documentaries. Guys, that's a great channel. That's a freaking great channel um i actually uh i'm gonna do a piece from italy from his channel um and i'm i'm really excited to do it i started recording it one night and i screwed up i screwed everything up and then one of my kids got up and uh, that was it screw it it wasn't gonna happen but excited to do that uh he's got some great documentaries over there uh let's see technical what are the spanners next to your names for um, those are for, uh, people that, that are mods. Um, so that way if somebody comes in and starts, you know, getting out of, getting out of line and starts, you know, like throwing the N word in chat or swearing or just being stupid, um, they can, they can block them for me while I'm in the middle of talking and, 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 you know, having dialogue with you, I don't have to watch every second of the chat. They can take care of it for me. So, which is great. Uh, Jeremy V, what's up, brother? Good to see you. Tim Smith, love your videos. I am, I can uh, try some ghost reaction videos. Ghost reactions. I might do that. I don't, uh, I don't know. I, I did, I do have recorded. I did a Fred Dibna video. I think, I think, I hope that's how you say it. I'm going to do some more of them. I did a one, one that everybody, a lot of people requested. Um, so I do have Fred Dibna coming. 
God, that's a like a that'll make your insides go right up to your throat watching that. I'll tell you. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's four thirty in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> we did the hey. I'll see you, man. Thank you, Burzum too. I appreciate you coming in. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming and hanging out for a little bit. Look for all sorts. I'm gonna get back to this and eat this while I do it because I broke into the Vegemite. There's the Tim Tams right there. Double, double coat, Tim Tams. And I'm gonna open these in a minute because I do have tea. But the Vegemite's good. I'm gonna open them in just a second. Mmm. hell is this i love cherry stuff one of my favorite things in the world is cherry yeah, son of a bitch mm -hmm. i do believe that's a chocolate cherry candy bar from cadbury uh oh the all short the all shorts are my favorite and i love them my second favorite is a candy bar and that is the crunchy well that crunchy is a badass piece of work right there this is probably going to give it a run for its money. Cherry rice. Oh. What? What? Oh, they're different. I was like, you must have known. He threw me two. I got a double dipped as well. <laughs> Squirrel happy. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Here we go. Andrew McLean. What's it? Damn it, Matt. What's up, man? 20 pounds. Thank you, man. Holy smokes. Have your chocolate fingers tasty? Yes, they are. Matt, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. You can add block all you want, buddy. <laughs> thank you so much, man. God, I appreciate it. I do. I do, I do, I do. I got a bunch of little squirrels. If I miss anything, you guys let me know, all right? All right, hold on. Let me get back to this. Matt, thanks, man. That's awesome. Thank you. What is this? Arnott's Mint Slice. Oh, look at these biscuits. Yeah, be jealous because, uh, well, I guess I can be jealous too. I'm going to taste like one of these on video. Oh, oh, looks like they got open on the end. Just a tad, just a hole. Just from being traveling. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the honest to God's truth is uh, Mrs. Squirrel is probably going to crush these. My wife is, you, you wouldn't believe it. You met, if you see my wife, someday you might see her on video. You wouldn't believe it. My wife's a personal trainer. She's drop-dead gorgeous and uh, in amazing shape. Um, you probably would see her on Instagram or anything like that. If you hooked up me over there, you'll see you'll see her through there. But uh, anyway, but she, she doesn't snack very often. But the mint, anything mint chocolate is like her... Weakness. So, who's this guy? Ooh. Oh, mint patty. Nestle mint patty. We got York peppermint patties over here. I wonder how close that's going to be to that. So, Nestle mint patty. That'll be good. That this will be all mine because I mean you, you can open a patty this big and save some. I don't think so. That sucker there. A couple more things here. I showed the Tim Tams already. While we're doing this, I got to try this. Wash, and cleanse the palate. This. <clears throat> this is L and P. Soda, lemon, and Piora. I think Piora is the uh, uh, pe Piora Aroa. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. But I guess that's like the that's the town or city that it's made in. I think it is also the name of a fruit. But I believe someone said that this is just a lemon soda, that the, pe that the Piora fruit's not actually in it. It's just named that because of the town. LMP Soda from New Zealand. Thank you, Luke. So here we go. It's a good wash down. 37 in chat. Let's go. Let's get 50 plus, please. Absolutely. Why not? In the basement, Tony. Pixel Pia. Oh, I love you, Pia. Pia is great, man. If you guys, any of you guys are doing anything social media wise, if you're trying to boost up your business, even if you're not a YouTuber, check out Pixel Pia. She does all kinds of social media videos that will really help you out a lot and teach you how to do like mass mailings, teach you all kinds of stuff like that. So check her out. She's awesome. Um, eating a bar of Galaxy chocolate had to drink. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Galaxy's good. Uh, I got a couple more things here real fast. I got these fry bars. So I'll show you these. These are the fry bars he spoke of. And then I got one more thing. These are the, the chocolate cream. Mm -mm. And peppermint cream. Mano. No, I have not had these yet. I'll tell you. 
part of the UK. It's got the UK stamp on it. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, boy. All right. There's that. And then the only other thing I have is this guy here. Let me try this one. Oh, it's good. It's like, it's kind of like, I don't want to say Sprite because it's not even close to Sprite. It's like lemon with fizz in it. It's almost like a lemon salsa that we get over here, but sweeter and bigger bubbles. Uh, who knows what awesome, good lemon stuff goes into the taste of LMP. Mm. Well, we do, but we're not babbling. <laughs> this is good. I mean, this is... Uh, Listen, Luke, I'll be honest with you. It's good soda. It's not Iron Brew, but it's really Iron Brew. Was, that was just something we, that was wacky and out of this world. Iron Brew is different, though. Iron Brew is more like a. If we could get Iron Brew here, that would be something that I would get like once in a great while as a treat because that's like liquid bubble gum. This is more refreshing. This I could see grabbing one of these and drinking it like at my kids' lacrosse game or something, you know? But good stuff. All right. There we go. White chipmunks, what's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. Robert Phelps, I have to say sorry. I made a comment on your last two Ronnie reaction that you could be a double for the legendary comedian and entertainer Bernard Cribbins. Don't say sorry, Robert. I've heard that a hundred times. <laughs> I get Bernard Cribbins, and of course I get um, Bill Bailey a lot, and then there was another guy too who acted in a soap opera with that I've been getting. So. Uh, the last thing in this box is uh, chewy caramel fudge, crunchy balls, and loads of chocolate. This is called the Chaquito. The Chaquito by Nestle. So we have Nestle over here, but we don't have any of this cool shit that you guys have from Nestle. It really pisses me off. So for anybody who's got here a little bit past the beginning, I just want to show you guys, for any who missed it, this is the first thing I opened up. This came from Amazon. It was a gift from Matthew Cooper. This is absolutely freaking beautiful. I love it. I want to use it, but I don't want to use it if it's like a collector's item. So I'm not going to do anything until I can get a hold of Matthew Cooper somehow and just find out because I want to make sure that I'm not blasphemizing the mug. But this thing is fucking top notch, gorgeous. Um, all right. Uh, we're going to do the Tim Tam, right? Let's do the Tim Tam trick. So I got some Vegemite toast. Crumbs all over the place. All right. I got some Yorkshire tea yesterday. I found it at a specialty shop. It comes from Yorkshire, England. I hope I'm saying Yorkshire right. Um, it's delicious. It's thick. It's hearty. It's good. I have English breakfast that I got from Twinnings. That's really good. That's what I've been drinking. But um, I've always liked tea. I've always drank tea. Um... But I've always just gotten, like, basic tea. Now that I'm getting heartier teas, I'm really enjoying it more. And it, it's more like a coffee to me. It's something that kind of sticks to you going in. A little more caffeine than just, you know, regular basic. But that's what I got. It's good. I got it at a, um, and it's so, it's so different. If you put some milk in it, and it's still really, uh, really hearty. So, tea and milk, man. All right, here we go. You guys, I got to tell you one thing about, about people from, um, this is Australia, obviously. Um, big awesome piece over. But uh, the UK, Australia, there's so many things that I've been told, so many candy bars and stuff that I've been told, just bite the ends off and suck, suck, <laughs> suck the teeth through it. I actually have a little video on my cell phone where I took a uh, ripple. I was in the middle of editing last night. I took a ripple and sucked some teeth through it. I made a short. But I didn't put it up because I had videos going out today. And uh, Phil Jones, what's going on, brother? How you doing, sir? Uh, I didn't put it up because I had two Ryan's videos going out today. And I didn't want to over flood everything. And I knew that I was probably going to do the stream tonight. So uh, those two Ryan's videos did amazing today. Thank you guys all so much for watching those. And those did really, really good today. Make me happy. I don't know what's going on with the subscribers on YouTube. Um, it's weird. I was flowing along and now... I kind of just stopped, but I'm getting, like, I put out two videos saying I got 8,000 views on both of them, which makes no sense that my that my subs aren't moving. And then it would go up four and go down three, then it would go up three and go down six. I literally sat in this, like, 20-subscriber bubble 
for about a whole day. It was so weird, just going up and down, up and down, up and down. So I know YouTube does things once in a while where they start adjusting things and they're trying to figure stuff out and take away dead subs. And I, I just guess that's what it is. I'm not really, really, honestly, not concerned about it at all. The views are still there. Everything's still going good. So just weird. Dorito, what's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Dorito and Lucha Cabra in the house. Awesome, epic adventures. There's some Australians for you, folks. Those are my Australian friends. Enjoy Tony eating vegetables for breakfast. There you go. Ah, this vegetable's good. I like this. It's nice. Um, I like the saltiness of the Marmite, but the Vegemite, I like the more natural flavor of it. So two different applications, two different things. I got to tell you, if I'm being totally honest, the Marmite peanut butter is my favorite. That stuff I could eat all day long. That stuff is freaking great. So um, did I switch cameras? No, I didn't. I didn't have the camera. All right, here we go. Uh, let's try this gimmick. We don't, we don't suck liquids through food as much as you guys do. So that's where it's uh, surprising to me. Let's make sure I don't miss anything here. Stacey Morgan's in the house. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, here we go. London Mayor, elections May 6th to vote for court bin face. This may as well have a joke instead of a liar. <laughs> Oh, Count Binface. <laughs> Count Binface. <laughs> come to Wales. I'm, I'm going to come over there. And I'm going to go as many places as I can. I want to go to Wales because I feel like I I feel like I owe it to Wales to visit. Because until about four months ago, I always thought Wales was a province of England. I didn't realize it was a country. And I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I can admit that. I'm an idiot. It's okay. I don't mind admitting that. All right. The corners are off. I think I got this right, right? Opposite corners. That's what Big Oz said. 1200 for 22 bucks. It cost me $9 for 20 Holy crap. 1200 What? Holy shit. By the way, chipmunks, I will. I, I go in there and work. Sometimes I talk. It depends on how busy my day is. I just, I'm a sales manager at work, and my team just got doubled in size. So I've been working extra hard lately, so it's been a little rough. But, um, but yeah, I uh, have a good night, Janice. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Let's give this a, let's give this a whirl. I know Big Oz said, try one regular and then try it that way. But I tried it regular, biting the ends off it. That's sick. Not one of these in this pack will I eat regular. They'll all get tea sucked through them. Because once you do that, the whole thing just kind of melts. Mm. That was badass. Wow. All right. <clears throat> one more thing. I'm going to try licorice also. It's that one. I have reason for opening so I've tried all sorts from England. Um, I've tried all sorts from New Zealand. We don't sell all sorts. I've gone and looked for all sorts of licorice items uh, here in many different places, including candy stores. And all they have is the stupid ass American Twizzlers. That's all we got. So uh, shut up, Frank, you dick. Uh, so yeah, but these have these ones in there, which um, the New Zealand ones are just these. The English ones are like this. Well, the one English ones I have, they're like this. They're the little, they're just half, like, they're like three layers. The New Zealand and Australian ones are five layers. But the English ones have these in them. The New Zealand ones don't. It's, they're all different. But anyway, uh, it's probably going to be great. But when someone was asking about um, licorice, I'm saying, you said you don't like licorice. Well, I don't. And suddenly I'm addicted to it because American licorice is just like overpowered with anise flavor. It just, it's so, it's too much. It's just heavy, heavy, heavy anise. And these hard licorice sticks. Not very good. Not very appealing. 
Oh, well, all right. Under Baker, I won't drink any more tea at least until I try it. I'm just trying a couple of them and I'll wash them down with LMP. Bye, Jim. Take care, man. Um, Dolly mixtures. I'm trying to think if I had. I don't think I had those. I don't think. What's going on? Gannon, what are you doing? Let me try this. You're great. Mm hmm. These are good, too. Yeah. Yep. So these are everywhere you go, there you get these all sorts, and they're amazing. And they don't sell shit over here. You get red vines, which are like knockoff Twizzlers. And this is hard, chewy shit. So. Jet wash, what's going on, man? So Canada also has all sorts, but not in America, huh? Real nice, real nice. <laughs> hey, it's five. That's not bad. I started when it was four over there, so I'm glad. <laughs> Scottish tablet. I'll take a recipe for anything. My um my email address is hey hey squirrel at gmail.com. I think it's in the description. Um everything's in the description that you you would need. Um there's a link down there for uh, you can join the Discord. We chat over there. Great place to drop off reaction suggestions and shit like that. So um Yeah. Oh my god, Gana. I tried that salted black licorice. That was something I won't probably do again. Although I keep having people tell me that there's a lot of good salted black licorice. You just have to get the right stuff that's a little bit sweeter. And they also have salted red licorice. Now that I'd like to try. These were just Ikea salted black licorice and they were like, I don't know. It was, it was just, it was too much. It was too much salt and not enough licorice, I think, you know, so. Uh, anyways, I'm going to, uh, Someone needs to send him fruit salads and blackjacks. I'm poor, so I can't. Don't worry about it. I don't. Uh, I, I, eventually, I'll probably get something. If not, I'll try when I come over to see you guys. So, are you going to react to other Ronnie B shows like Porridge and Open All Hours? I keep getting um, people asking about Porridge. I'm looking into it right now. Um, to my knowledge, it's going to be very hard to do. I'm trying not to. Um, I'm trying not to pull everybody over off platform somewhere else to watch stuff. I know a lot of people do that. And if I have to do that, I will, but, uh, I'm trying not to. And I think Porridge, I think is blocked, but I'm going to try. Um, I'll let you in on something I, am, I do have coming. Um, I do have, uh, um, time gentlemen, please. Uh, I'm going to be starting on series one, episode one. Very soon, we'll be doing probably an episode a week uh, on that, and um, that is uploadable. Um, it's it's blocked mo for monetization, but I, I don't care about that. Um, well, they can put it up. That's all I care about because, you know, it's uh, it's not. If I was only going to put up stuff that was getting monetized, then three quarters of the shit on my channel wouldn't even be there. So, but uh, time, gentlemen, please is not the just strikes or blocking it in all territories. Nobody can see it. Is what I worry about. But that is not, and I've got uh, access to some good, good quality ones too. Um, I got a, a friend in the UK who's helped me out with that, so that's awesome. Um, keep reacting to YouTube vids. No need to move to another platform with that, right? Well, that's the whole thing. Even some of the ones on YouTube they'll get blocked. Like I, I got, I tried. I'd been trying to get a Lee Evans video release. I'd put it over on Daily Motion, but I really wanted to have it on the YouTube page. I wrote some very nice emails. I called NBC Studios. I really worked hard. And uh, finally, yesterday morning, they basically told me to go shit in my hat, and they blocked it worldwide and said they wouldn't, they would not unblock it for me. So everybody asks for Lee Evans all the time, but that is that's something you just can't, you just can't. You know, he's it's all blocked. So uh, I don't know. Porridge on BBC iPlayer, so VPN it just to watch it yourself. It's too I will. No, I'll definitely watch some of it. Um, I think I can see Porridge here. But that's the whole thing. BBC is uh, you get BBC and um, and you're not getting uh, you're not getting 
any permission to uh i mean we're well, not you're not it's not that you're not getting any permission you're definitely getting blocked and then it's a 50 50 shot whether or not they'll release it for you so I had the squirt bottle there the cat came in i thought he was gonna be a tough guy um anyhow i'm going to uh i'm gonna let you folks go uh i gotta clean up all this stuff here and get everything put away and uh start getting things lined up for tasting videos pretty sad that these things get blocked when they're so old it is true yes picture keeps freezing up so that's what i was wondering i keep seeing it freeze up over here I think it's because I just have too much stuff going. I don't know. I'm sorry that it's freezing up on you. Uh, I some raspberry blower. See, I've had some, why is, I don't know why I'm freezing so much. It's StreamYard. It's got to be StreamYard because when I'm on stream with people, Zoom doesn't freeze. StreamYard always does. So it's streaming a lot. It's 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 it seems like it's freezing a lot, so I'm going to stop. But uh, I appreciate all you guys coming out. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, everybody, who dropped Super Chats on me. It's very much appreciated. With so much stuff being blocked, it's even more appreciated that you guys take care of me when you see me here. Um, the Vegemite was good. The Marmite was good. The LMP soda was great. The all sorts of great. Tim Tam to the T. That's fucking crazy good. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, Little Dot Studios is the key, Tony. Phil, thank you. I will look into Little Dot Studios. I don't know what that is, but I'll look it up. I'll remember it. I'll look it up as soon as I'm done. Guys, thanks for coming and hanging out. There's 30 of you still here. I really appreciate all of you. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, please do so on the way out. And uh, upcoming stuff, I got Fred Dibna climbing a 300-foot chimney or whatever. I got uh, a Monty Python for you and a couple of the – oh, I got Benny Hill coming. Ooh. That's all I got for now, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, scroll up.